All right, my name is Julius Bogner. Today we're going to be installing a faucet uh, on this granite top that was just installed. All right. Hey, let's get this job done. Contractor just left that did the granite, did a great job. Homeowner picked out a faucet for us. We want to get that in for her. So uh, I'm going to go over all the materials that we are going to use to do this job. And uh, this is going to be a nice looking faucet, so I'm excited. So let's, uh, let's take a look. Um, always, always use gloves. Um, we have the faucet, just a couple different um, uh, pieces of hardware that came with that faucet. Um, we're going to use a adjustable wrench, some plumber's putty, uh, some, this is, you can't see the name of, this is a plumber's grease, a little spatula, and then uh, just some cleaning solution, and then some paper towels. So this is all we need to take and take on this job. Uh, also, you grab that. Okay. that first. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and prep our surface for the installation. Take our cleaner. Clean this up real well. Sometimes you get a little bit of stone sticking up. Just take our level. Make sure our surface is flat. That's good. Okay, we're gonna go underneath. Okay, it's all prepped. Okay, so this is our faucet. So this is the base here. Now, it comes with a seal on the bottom. Now, I found that these seals don't often work and the water will take and leak down behind and then ruin the base of the cabinet. So for the extra insurance of this, this is what I do. I put that on. There's a little tab, so it's gonna lock in. Your seal will always fa be facing downwards. So get that on there good. Now I'll go ahead and take some plumber's putty. This stuff is real malleable. Once you warm it up, it works really well. Stretch it out. Okay. I'm going to take and go around the base. Because there's a seal there, you try to keep it away from that seal as best you can, because we still want to utilize that because that's our, that's our primary, but um, they do dry out, they do go bad. So I like to continue to, uh, to always do this practice. I'm gonna go ahead and install this. So, okay, so we're going to go underneath. I'm going to put a little bit of plumber's grease on the threads. And this is going to make it easier for us to thread the retainer clip on. And also, if we ever got to go back, uh, this thing, there's a potential chance that this is going to condensate. So we want to make sure that um, it, it doesn't it doesn't get any corrosion and, and it's easy to back off 20 years down the road so these two fittings here as you can see one's a stainless steel retainer clip this is going to go up against the countertop in our case it's going to go up against the base of the granite this is going to be the retainer clip that actually pulls the faucet down and holds it tight this is not going to get bottomed out to, to the stainless steel uh, we're going to come off about a quarter of an inch from the stainless steel and then we're going to adjust the screws to get our faucet um, plumb. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to head down. Go ahead and put our washer. 
washer on. And our clip. And pull, pull up a little bit, straighten this out. See that grease just makes it spin so much easier. And as you're driving it up, it will coat those threads. out right there. Now we're going to back it off a little bit. About a quarter of an inch right there. Okay. Okay, these set screws here, I'm going to go ahead and just take and tighten them down a little bit. Go up and take a look at that faucet. Let's see, Let's see how it is. Okay, so the top's going out this way. Okay, so next we're going to take the excess plumber's putty off, and then we're going to clean the surface. I'm just going to clean that valve back up so it looks new after we leave. Is a beautiful faucet. Okay. All right, now we're going to go ahead and hook up our water lines. Let's get started. Okay, so we took and turned the water on, but we didn't turn it on the valve. Before you turn on a faucet, the best thing to do is to flush it out. Uh, so I'm going to disassemble the top here. There's a strainer right above. Because we don't want to do all this work and then have the faucet. Some of, the, some of these faucets have filters in them. Some of them just have the strainer, the aerator on them. So we don't want to plug those up. So we're going to go ahead, because everything's brand new, we're going to go flush it out to the hot side. Old side, let it run for a little bit. Back and forth, that should be good. We're gonna go ahead and screw that on.
All right, this is a this is a single hole faucet install. Job came out great, no leaks. Uh, everything's nice and uh, straight. You could drop your plumber, do it yourself. Stay tuned for more videos. Let's go to the next job.